Dear colleagues, today I want to give you a short lecture on two-dimensional radiography in implant dentistry. What is its current role? We're going to discuss about radiology in general and then come on to two-dimensional imaging modalities and also the role of two-dimensional radiology at the different stages of implant treatment planning and also implant treatment. Why do we need radiology? Well, diagnostic imaging is an integral part of the assessment of the patient. On one hand, we have the clinical examination and patient history taking, and on the other side, we need further detail on the anatomy that we don't have readily, readily at hand when we do an examination of the patient. We need more information on the bone. So radiographic te techniques, they help us to establish healthy conditions of the patient and also help us in treatment planning to know about the dimensions of bone. One thing is really important when we do treatments with dental implants. Dental implants are elective, so we are not forced to place implants for the survival of the patient. So ethically, the patient should offer healthy conditions to place implants in. And to establish healthy conditions, radiographic uh, techniques are a basic need. So summarizing this with this uh, graph here, on one hand, we have the diagnosis to assess anatomic boundaries and to detect potential pathology. And on the other hand, we have treatment planning, evaluate bone dimensions, and then also plan specifically the angulation, the width, the length of the implant to establish prosthodontically driven implant treatment and also then placement.